Alright guys, Zypho here and a quick video today. Is this, this is actually going to be kind of a, oh god, one of those re reaction videos that I kind of cringe at seeing uh, polluting my YouTube feed and suggested videos. But hey, this, this is my first one and maybe my last, we'll see. But I had to do it, I had to do it because a new teaser trailer for an, a new Amsterdam CPC game arrived today and it has blown my tiny little mind and I want to show it with you guys and do sort of react to it and uh, maybe have a little discussion, dig, dig into it a little bit more. Who knows? We'll see. But basically, the Batman group, I'm sure some of you will probably be familiar with them. Most of you on the Amsterdam CPC scene will be. Uh, they did the awesome Batman Forever demo like quite a few years ago now and that when that dropped, um, like that blew everyone's minds anyway. <laughs> like pretty much like this. And um, that was an amazing demo of stuff that we thought not possible on the Amstrad. And I, I didn't know, like they came out of nowhere to me anyway. Never heard of this Batman group before and Rhino and stuff. And suddenly, boom, here's this demo. And then for, they've been involved in bits and bobs, different bits and bobs over the years, but mostly been working on the conversion of Pinball Dreams from the Amiga to the Amstrad. And uh, we did a live stream of the full game uh, on a pre-release version on uh, one of my Am streams uh, like a few weeks ago. So you can go, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description for you if you want to watch, check that out. And that was amazing, amazing work what they've done there. And then last night, or early this morning, 21 hours ago, um, they dropped this teaser trailer for a new game they've been working on that we had no idea they were doing called Vespertino. It's an odd name. We'll discuss that maybe in a little bit. And, um, oh my God, it's blown my tiny little mind. Again, very much like uh, this gentleman here. So we're gonna have to take a look at their video. And uh, first of all, guys, I've had to mute the audio in the video. You're not gonna miss out on any anything though. They just use basically the music from one of the <laughs> recent Batman movies by Hans Zimmer. And I don't want to get any more copyright notices and strikes on my channel. I've got a full clean, uh, clean bill of health on my channel at the moment, so I don't want to ruin that. So we're using the uh, um, uh, my own background music here uh, by 24/7 as always. It's Top Gear 2 Auckland Simply Remix. There's a Top Gear 2 driving game that was very much like the Lotus games. Very appropriate, as we'll see shortly. Now I've watched this on my mobile phone earlier, but I've not watched it on the full screen on my PC yet so this is going to be still quite new to me and uh, we're going to react to it now so here we go um oof. 2011 we show the world a small part of the potential of the Amstrad CPC there we go this is the Batman Forever demo I was talking about and a must watch if you've never seen it 2019, this power revived in a game with the most complex and fluid 8 bit systems, right? Ah, uh, Pinball Dreams. Again, check out my live stream of that. Link in the description. In recent macabre events, new glimpses of hidden power have been revealed to the Dark Knight. Hmm. <laughs> Now we're dealing with this unleashed strength to deliver the most epic piece of code porn ever. <laughs> code porn. <laughs> Bless them. And that's bits, I think that's more bits from the Batman Forever and Pinball Dreams work. We've had a last masterpiece that eclipse, eclipses them all. Here we go! Look at that! It's like a blooming PlayStation game. Real game footage running on CPC. A racing simulator that will crown the CPC as the best 8 bit platform. Oh my god. Poking the specky in C64 guys there. Oh my. <laughs> 16-bit performance, 3D CRTC FX engine, what? Full overscan, 25 FPS, real racing simulator, true speed feeling, enhanced video modes, all CPC limits broken, PRI to... Oh god, we're gonna have to rewind and go through that. The Amstrad Supremacy is coming. Batman games. That 
that is that looks amazing. Coming soon. Ooh. Only in Hampshire CPC. Should be only on grammar. Never mind. <laughs> All good though. I think that's it on the video. Lots of just imagine lots of dramatic music from the Batman. Hang on a second. So 28 years of productions so on several platforms are not enough. Without a last masterpiece that eclipses them all. A last. I hope this isn't the last game from the Batman group. That would be very, very sad if it is. They, should, I hope, they need to do more. They need to do more. Anyway, we'll carry on. And it, oh my god. That looks stunning. Never use as colours. So they've got looks like they've got three cars: a GT and I don't know what that is. R8, the Audi R8, is it? I don't know. Who cares? Looks like they've all got different um, specs. So okay, that's cool. That's interesting. I just love all the effects going on there. Look at that. And yeah, guys real game footage running on CPC. Now I'm told that this um, is destined for all CPC and plus models. Um, although I've seen a later tweet when they sort of clarify that this will work on a CPC 464 but with expanded memory. So I think this is 128k only. So um, we'll see. We'll see what they actually manage to do. And they also note that like this is an early version as well, very, very early in development, and graphics may even improve. Yikes. But here's the meat of it though. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, before we get to that, a racing simulator that will crown the CPC as the best AP plan. That's gonna annoy a few uh, Spectrum and Commodore 64 fans or BBC, Atari, Dragon 32, <laughs> no, NES. Bit naughty boys, naughty boys, but it's cool. We're just building up a little bit of hype and get people talking about it. I get it, I get it. And here we go. Oh my god. We've got a bit of ghosting now. I think that's just like the, the, like the frames per second on the video compression and stuff. Like I have this problem. I always have to make sure my frames per second always match with my encoding software. But I don't worry about that. Whoa! <laughs> I, d I can't stop watching that. That looks amazing. Where is it? 131. Wow. The parallax going on there. How fast and smooth it is. I can't believe it. So yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. Let's slow the let's slow it down. Slow it right down so we can actually see everything that's going on here. Look at the sprite scaling. Now normally on Amsterdam dry, dry racing games, even the best like WC Le Mans and uh, Chase HQ. Chase HQ. Like, you know, they're kind of, they come, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, the objects at the side of the road because they can't get scaling like you would like on outrunning the arcade and stuff. But look how smooth that is. That is stunning. And the 3D car there. I think we've got a kind of parallax on the go there. It's kind of hard to tell. No, I think the background's kind of static. Until we go around a the corner. Then all of it scrolls. Fair enough. That's alright. I like the skyline there. That's clever. We've got dips and hills by the looks of it. And look how it moves up there as well. Drawing dis There's a drawing distance on it as well. Wow. That's awesome. A good thing I've slowed this down because there's a lot of things coming, uh, text here flying at us. 16 bit performance. <laughs> it 
some Amiga fans getting very angry probably in the comments. 3D CRTC FX engine. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a bit of a Ponzi name, I don't know. The CRTC is, a, is the gra basically kind of like the, I might be wrong here, the, like, kind of like the graphics chip in the um, Amstrad. And there's lots of different CRTC tricks that have been developed over the year to give like smooth scrolling and stuff like that. But they've obviously developed their own code base like to kind of hack the CRTC. And that, that's what they've called it. Why not? Build up a bit of hype and be proud of what you're doing. Full overscan. So guys, yeah, overscan. If you're not familiar with the Amstrad, not normally there'll be like black borders around an Amstrad screen, and um, they're not used. Um, but getting overscan is basically into the borders and like filling the whole like uh, Amstrad monitor basically. So that's very tough to achieve, especially with a game like that. 25 frames per second in game. That's brilliant. I mean, I know the Commodore can achieve like 50 frames per second on a lot of it horizontally scrolling shoot 'em ups for example and stuff like that but 25 frames per second is kind of like it's golden if you can get that it's going to look smooth as anything anyway on a, an 8-bit computer real racing simulator cool not quite sure what that means maybe trying to model like proper physics and stuff on ends and corners who knows true speed feeling we do get that feeling from like basically all the objects on the track and obviously the uh, the colours road and stuff have been blue and grey and stuff. Enhanced video modes, I'm not quite sure what that means. We'll see. All models are supported. Okay, I mentioned that earlier. I think there's been a later tweet saying that it will work enough for CPC 464 but with expanded memory. So <laughs> it's 128k only, I think. I think it will be. It'll end up being. Pretty sure. I might be proved wrong. I might end up doing a really cut down version for the 464. Who knows? All CPC limits broken. UFD sprites. I have no idea what UFD kind of means. You can speculate in the comments if you want to, guys. Also, what PRI technology is. You're right. No idea. No idea. Again, speculate in the comments. Feel free to, guys. Largest 8 bit OST. Original soundtrack? Ooh, ooh, okay. And here's some credits here. Art designed by Mac. Um, code by Rhino, he's the main guy. He's the main dude of the Batman group. And 3D graphics by Tony uh, Galvez. Wow, there we go. I don't think there was anything else. What was there? What's this? The Amstrad Supremacy is coming. Oh my God. Well, we'll put the speed back and we'll just like watch it one more time and then we'll end Batman Group logo there. We'll go, from, we'll go from here again. Look at that. Whew. That looks stunning. No comment on that. Oof, oof, I just, I, ah, this makes me so excited, it makes me so excited, like, and I know this isn't going to be like an outrun conversion, but guys, right at Batman Group, if you can, please, if you don't want to do it, if you could hand the code over to someone else to do an outrun remake, and a proper outrun conversion on the Amstrad, that would be amazing. Um, not to take anything away from this game, but um, yeah, this is cool. So guys, the, the title apparently is uh, Vespertino. Vespertino. I don't know what that means. Um, I kind of, I'm not keen on the name. I don't know. It didn't sound cool. Um, I don't know what it means. Maybe it means something really cool in Spanish or something. Uh, they may want to rethink that. That's my only suggestion. I don't know. I'd call it like. CPC Speed Racer, I, anything, uh, Vespertino doesn't sound cool to me in England. Okay, just telling you guys now, uh, if you're watching Batman Group, may want to rethink the name. Uh, but other than that, please just keep, finish this game, finish this game. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. And as soon as it drops, guys, I will be live streaming it like all night long. <laughs> if it's as good as it looks right now. There we go, guys. Watch it a couple more times. Oh, 
Uf. Uf. Once more. Oh, that looks stunning. Right, guys. So, guys, let me know in the comments what you what your thoughts are so far and what you think to it. And let me know if you know what some of those terms actually meant as well. And uh, yeah, see if this will be. Well, do you think do you guys think this will be the best A-bit racer of all time? Who knows? Let's see. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.